Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue. I write for Guns of the Old West magazine and Combat Handguns magazine. And today we're going to be shooting a uh, Star 9mm. And this is a Supermodel B uh, 9mm Parabellum. It, externally, it looks very much like a Colt 1911, but internally it really has no resemblance at all to the Colt. It's purely cosmetic. Uh, this particular gun was an Israeli police handgun, and I picked it up on the surplus market, and let's see what it'll do. All right, let's take uh, the star and put a few rounds on steel, see where we're hitting. Well, as you can see from the Taurus PT 1911 at the top of the frame, the Star Model B Super uh, externally looks a great deal like a 1911, in fact, like a 1911A1. Now, it's got a couple of obvious differences. There's no grip safety, and you can see that right off. And the safety itself is somewhat different in its operation. But it does look an awful lot like a 1911. There are a few subtle differences. The uh, trigger is not a 1911 trigger at all. It's a pivoting trigger. It's more like a SIG P210. Uh, cosmetically, there's a little bump down at the bottom of the grip. And then over on the right side, uh, there are a couple of differences. One major one is a takedown lever, which you certainly would not see on a 1911. The takedown on this pistol is quite a bit different than the 1911. And there's an external extractor. And then on top, there's a really robust uh, loaded chamber indicator, which is highly visible, and you can also feel it very well with your finger. So those are the external differences on the pistol. Now let's do a little more shooting. So, as you saw, the slide is not always staying open on empty. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. If I pull a magazine out, it probably will. See? Yep. But, I would say we probably need a new magazine here, so I'm going to go hunting one up. But other than that, for a surplus gun, for about 200 bucks, it shoots pretty good. I was shooting a star with Remington uh, 115 grain full metal jacketed bullets, um, which, which is a good plinking and test load. Lately I've been getting my ammo from Midwest Ammo Source uh, over the web, MidwestAmmoSource.com. They've got, uh, got good stuff, name brands, and prices are reasonable, so you might want to check them out. Yeah, I didn't get the star as a carry pistol. I got it as just a fun plinker, but there's nothing wrong with carrying one of these. It worked fine for a lot of years. It could work fine for you, too. Uh, and for carry pistols, holsters are important. And the star will fit in most any holster made for a 1911. But I'm finding out of all my holsters, the best fit I'm getting is out of this Bluestone Safety Products inside the waistband holster, which is a really nice holster, all leather, and it's uh, got... Got a sweat guard, uh, keeps the metal off your skin. So this one is a little bit snug on most 1911s, and because the star is a little more slender, it really does fit it well. <laughs> 